And we're back with you now on WZBN News. This is Mercer County Close Up. Blogs, podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. Social media, of course, and mobile devices that help us, uh, that are vehicles of it really, are all over the place and have been for years now. Many people don't understand, though, that while people update their Facebook and Twitter pages, sites, etc., almost up to the minute, I mean, many people don't understand, however, there is a big link between these things and learning. Many teachers in classrooms every day apply social media to vast lessons and learning and everything that they can to help better a child's education. Now joining us to talk about this is a best-selling author who has sold over 80,000 copies of the two works he's written. He lives very locally to us and he is Mr. Will Richardson. Will, thanks so much for joining thanks us Thanks for having today. me. I appreciate it. Well, I mean, the link between social media and learning. I mean, you think about Facebook, you think about Twitter, you think about how people, sometimes kids, may abuse the privileges associated sure. with, but there's a lot of good that come out of that that can come out of that, and I mean, it really uh, applies in the classroom, doesn't it? Yeah, it absolutely does. I mean, we can pretty much learn whatever we want to learn now, We have, if we have access, of course. And there are lots of teachers, lots of great content out there. And I think one of the challenges that schools have right now is understanding how to help kids make sense of all of that content and all of those teachers out there in ways that can really advance their, their, their learning dispositions and their learning skills. So right. it's an interesting moment for education because there is so much of this access that we have that's outside of the classroom that we used to own. You know, mm -hmm. We used to own the content. We used to be the only teachers that, that kids could learn from, and now that stuff is everywhere. So it really is a, a very, very different environment and a different landscape for schools and right. teachers. I remember being in grade school in the 80s. That's when computers first started making right. their ways into classrooms. But now you think about wiki blogs, podcasts. I mean, I first learned what a blog was in 2003. They certainly existed before sure. then. I'm sure you had been using them long before that. But talk about how long you know, you've been using blogs yourself and also what you know, teachers, et cetera, use them for as well. Well, I started blogging back in 2001, actually, okay. which is kind of the dark ages of, of blogging. And there, and there really weren't too many educators out there when I started who were thinking about using social media and social technologies in classrooms. Um, there were only a handful that I could that I could find, and it has really exploded over the last decade or so in terms of uh, lots of other people using social media, but specifically a lot of teachers now too. It's not everywhere, and there are still concerns around you know putting kids online and and uh, having them connect with with folks uh, who are outside of the classroom. It's still kind of a different thing, but I think for a lot of teachers, what's happened is social media has become one of their best professional development tools. They're That's able great. to yeah they're able to connect to other teachers who teach the same things that they do, share resources, share ideas, reflect together, even collaborate together, connect their classrooms together, and a lot of that is being done with blogs. And uh, a lot of the teachers who blog, I think, are, are really interesting to read because they are so reflective about their own practice, and we can learn a lot about what happens in classrooms by reading what you know what they're writing about and how they're how they're talking about their own practice. So I think the the whole transparency piece of these tools is a very important thing for all of us in in terms of learning from one another and, and connecting with one another. That is great. So I mean, when a teacher you know explains or expounds upon a lesson, if she blo if she or he blogs it, you know, yeah. it can be readable by thousands, millions of people. And, and, yeah. yeah, and one, actually one of the, the first things I did, I did back in 2002, I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember the book Secret Life of Bees, but it, it was by a woman, yeah. Sue Monk Kidd. We were reading that book in my classroom, and basically I, I contacted her publicist, and I said, would she like to come in and basically work with my kids on our blog, on our class blog, and she did. And it was a great experience for my kids. They, they probably learned more about that book from her than they would have from me or from what happened in the classroom. Right. So. Um, that type of, you know, the ability to bring people into the classroom in that way, I think, is pretty powerful. Yeah. I remember it was about 20 years ago, you know, certain parents out there would be concerned if teachers would allow the use of calculators in math class. Right. But, I mean, yep. it is, you know, calculators have been out a good 15, 20 years already. It's good for people to be able to be with the times. And now that it's social, now that social media has really uh, dominated the, uh, you know, social landscape for the last Ten years easily, possibly more. I mean, it's 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 actually advantageous when teachers Absolutely. let let kids get embroiled in this because it'll only help them and make them more modern. Yeah, and I, I think parents at this point should really be advocating for that in their kids' schools. You know, I, I think that in many ways, kids that don't have access and kids that don't have the literacies to use these technologies and to use these connections and to really parse information online and and bring that into their own learning lives, I think those kids will be behind the kids that can do that. And the problem right now is that 
still in a lot of schools, the whole technology piece of it is really just a layer for us to do what we've been doing for 100 years. It's not changing what we do. And I really think at this point, schools need to think about change mm-hmm. because of the web and because of the ways in which those connections take place. And I think parents more and more. I have a, I have a 12 and a 14 year old. Oh, right. And so, you know, I want to see that happening in their classrooms. And it's kind of frustrating when it doesn't because uh, there's so much emphasis on the test. There's so much emphasis on all this other stuff that doesn't really uh, kind of encompass these technologies in any any clear way, but really, this is this is where our kids are going to live. They're totally. going to have they're going to have these connections. They're going to have these technologies, and we need to help them become fluent at them and literate with them, and and really use them in like I said before, in powerful ways to learn. Absolutely. Well, the the books that you've written on this subject matter definitely go into it. Uh, one that came out not too long ago, Personal Learning Networks. You can find it on Amazon.com. It's not available in bookstores, but it's one of the ones that you know has sold thousands of copies also the one that will wrote uh, just this past august it came out called learning on the blog i mean what comes to my mind is the expression on the ball but of course being on the blog nowadays very helpful it keeps you very modern i mean this is the book really where you go into a lot of the things where i mean blogging and learning really come together yeah actually those are our posts from my blog from the last 10 years oh, kind right. of uh, selected posts that that really capture the bigger themes around change around transformation, around individual learning, around the challenges and the opportunities that schools have. Um, so uh, it's uh, it's been a very interesting journey for me. It's been, without question, one of the most transformative things that's happened in my life right. in terms of changing the way I think about learning and education. And, and I was a, a public school teacher for 22 years. Uh-huh. So it, it really does make me rethink what we do in schools in a, in a lot of ways because uh, we, we have to open up those walls. We yes. have to figure out ways to, to bring those resources and those people in and help connect those kids out. Um, again, because that's where their future is in terms yeah. of their own learning as well. And I mean, learning is, of course, fundamental, but stay, <laughs> you know, staying with the times. And it's a, it, yeah. it really is a literacy right now. Even the National Council of Teachers of English has come out and said that in order for kids to be literate, in order for any of us to be literate readers and writers, we have to be immersed in technology right now. We have to understand how to you know, manage all sorts of information streams that are coming in. It's not giving a kid a textbook any yeah. longer. It's really helping them understand how you can use Twitter, how you can use Facebook, how you you can use blogs or other social sites or even traditional newspaper sites to to get information and knowledge and to, to process that and make it work for you. But how do you manage all that? You know, it's a very different skill from paper and textbooks that is very kind of a, this linear curriculum that, that uh, schools are, are more about right now. So it's a literacy issue. And uh, I, would, I would say that most kids from really good schools, you know, from the best schools in the country, aren't literate when you think right. about their ability to use technology in ways that, that help them learn. So great. Hopefully with these books they become so. I hope hopefully so, yeah. parents and teachers yeah, continue to jump on board. Well, yeah. thank you so much My for being pleasure. our guest Thanks today. for having me. great talking really with appreciate you. It. Will Richardson, a well-known author from right here in New Jersey. Again, his books, you can find them on Amazon, Learning on the Blog. Just you know, visit Amazon.com because they're not available in bookstores. The other one, which came out just a little while before, Personal Learning Networks. You will gain a whole host of information on how classrooms and learning have become more modern because of social media. I'm Mark Fontes. We'll see you again real soon.